eTiger and HubSpot integration was designed to synchronize leads, contacts, organizations, and opportunities both ways. Let's take a look at the contact, for example. If I open the contact, I can see the HubSpot section as well as the log. What the HubSpot section does is allows you to click on it and see the record information as if you were in HubSpot. So as long as you're logged into HubSpot, you will be able to see the details directly from HubSpot as well as do the changes which will then get updated in VTiger as well as HubSpot. Next we have our log where we can see all the changes made from HubSpot or VTiger and that's where we'll see if the sync was successful. Next under contact details or any other record for that matter we have sync to HubSpot which basically tells the system to either sync this record to HubSpot or keep it just within VTiger. So for example, let's go ahead and update the phone number for this contact and see how the information gets sent to HubSpot. I will go ahead and save it. The automation runs in the background. And then if I were to click on HubSpot log, I will see that the phone number was updated. And if I click on my HubSpot iframe, I will then see that the same phone number was populated in HubSpot. I can also open this record in HubSpot and we'll see exactly the same. So I'll switch to my other tab. This is my contact. And then I can see that the phone number was populated. So now if I wanted to change the information in HubSpot, I can do exactly the same. I will say just change the phone number, save the property, and next, the automation runs. And if I go back to my VTiger contact and go back to details, I can see that the phone information was updated. I can see that in our synchronization log as well as the iframe itself. Now let's take a look at the opportunities. So if I open an opportunity and just for sake of it, let's go ahead and create a new opportunity for testing purposes. Go ahead and add new. We'll select an organization. Select the stage, dates, put in a contact, amount, source. And you can see that the sync to HubSpot is automatically checked which means it'll automatically sync this opportunity to HubSpot. That can be undone in the layout editor if you don't want to automatically sync them. Once I hit save, then the automation runs. The record gets then sent to HubSpot. And if I go to my HubSpot tab, I'll go to deals. And I can see here's my test opportunity. You can see the deal stage amount who is associated with and that it's synced to VTiger. So I open my opportunity and I can see the contact, the organization, which is a company, and the basic information. So if I were to change, say, an information in the opportunity, save it, that'll then automatically sync back to VTiger. So if I refresh it, you can see that it changed to from existing to the new type. And then under HubSpot log, you can see that it was first synced a few seconds ago, and then we changed view fields back. The same concept applies to both contacts, leads, as well as organizations and opportunities. Next, let's take a look at the HubSpot contacts and leads. If we go to HubSpot tab, under contacts, we have VTiger record type, which is either lead or contact. Since VTiger supports both leads and contacts, but HubSpot only has one type of record, which is contacts or companies, we can then, sp we can then specify to sync the record to the lead in VTiger or a contact. 
And then as the information goes back from vTiger, we can see that the record type is either a lead or a contact. And if I'll go ahead and open this one up, we can see that the record type is contact and the sync to vTiger is yes. So if I wanted to sync the information from HubSpot to vTiger, I would go to my contacts. Say for the new contact, we'll just create a dummy record. And then down below, we can select it to be sent to vTiger and that it has to be a lead or a contact. Let's put it as a lead. And before we create these triggers, sync to vTiger or the record type can be set up in HubSpot workflows. So you don't have to manually check them. So they will always be set to yes, the lead or the contact. We'll hit create contact. And then the automation runs in the background. If I go back to my vTiger tab, hit on leads. I can then see this contact was synced as a lead in vTiger. We see the log and we see the iframe in HubSpot. Lastly, let's take a look at the configuration options available if we go to HubSpot settings. And then we can see that all the fields can be mapped for each module. So we have the organization tab and we can map all the fields from vTiger to HubSpot. Same applies to contacts and leads. You can see that we have a contacts and leads column that goes into one column for HubSpot. You can either enable or disable lead or contact sync by just checking or checking the boxes. Next, we have opportunities. Again, field mapping. Next is related lists. This allows you to either display or hide the iframe that takes you directly to HubSpot. And then we can either show or hide the log lists. In most cases, those are not necessary. And lastly, we have the merge option, which basically tells us if the contact or lead should be merged when synced and what should be the primary record in case there's a conflict. And lastly, we have view logs, which is more for admin side where you can see each sync in this area and you can search by it. You can also trigger the sync manually to HubSpot or vTiger. And one more thing to keep in mind is in the CRM settings, so the way this sync is triggered is via the scheduler. So if we go to scheduler under other settings, we can see that sync to HubSpot and sync to vTiger, those two cron jobs will get triggered based on your configuration. If you wanted to sync just one way, you would just turn off one of those by just editing and setting them as inactive. And that concludes the demo for vTiger and HubSpot synchronization.